Hello, Duke here from ehmethod.co. And today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the 369 method. Now, what is the 369 method? Why should you care about it? If you were here, you probably have heard about it. A few years ago, it went viral on TikTok. All of a sudden, everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about getting great results. And what I want to share with you in this video to make your the, the results that much more powerfully is to understand the 369 method, but to understand within this game, within the world of manifestation, why this works, how this works. Because when you understand something, especially if you're on the journey of the soul of understanding yourself, this game, other people, then you become a much more powerful manifester with your intent, with the understanding of what it is you're doing. So 369 method, Nicholas Tesla quoted, if you understand the numbers 369, you have the key to the universe. Yeah, everyone has latched onto this and said, if you use 369, these powerful numbers, then you'll be able to manifest more powerfully. I'm actually going to put a link below. If you want to understand to me, one of the most concise, powerful videos to understand how these numbers within sacred geometry, um, within the workings of astrotheology, um, that ancient civilizations knew, that modern day mathematics understand, and how it all in fits together. I'll put a link below for a video from Randall Carlson, and he breaks this all down. Understanding that these numbers essentially fit into everything with the workings of the universe. And so it is told that using these numbers, therefore, is giving you access to these natural ascribed meanings and constructs within this game, within this holographic universe, within this matrix, therefore enabling you to manifest more powerfully. What I want to invite you to, though, is that, yes, that is true. But actually, it's probably people's belief in that being true, which makes it even more powerful than that actually being the case. As well as the fact that so many people now in the last few years in particular have jumped on this bandwagon of using 369. But guess what? An aggregate, a collective consciousness, I, a consciousness of something. So we, when we have many thoughts and ideas and perceptions, and then a group of people have that idea and perception, it creates an energy, almost like a thought cloud, a consciousness. So as a result, over the last few years, so many people using the 369 method is fueling this energy that the 369 method works as a manifestation tool. This is why um, ancient practices, uh, ritual magic, ways of doing things that have been, you know, um, Western prayer even within religion um, and East. These things that have been done over and over and over for eons, it creates a pathway. It etches into this actual reality within this construct, a way of doing things, almost like neural pathways that when you fire neural pathways in the same way over and over and over, especially, you know, if it's something you desire, something positive, something you want to change, those neural pathways that fire together, wire together, work together. And it's the same within this game. Things that are done again and again and again, it creates that path that makes it that much easier for the next person. So one of the reasons why 369 method is so powerful is because so many people believe in it and are therefore using it. You will see different people talk about different ways of doing this, okay? And what I want to share with you is it doesn't really matter. If you know yourself, or if you don't know yourself, just pick the way of doing things that feels right to you. Try this. Give it at least a couple of weeks, hopefully four weeks. See how it feels. Commit to something and just say to yourself, even if this requires discipline, even if this is difficult, I'm going to push through with this thing for this period of time and see what the result is. And just be open to whatever shows up. I might learn something, I might manifest something, or both. So the first kind of way that you'll see being banded around, people say things like, first thing in the morning, I got to write down three times what it is I want. In the afternoon, at lunchtime, I'm going to write down six times what it is I want, but more affirmed. And in the evening, I'm going to write down nine times as if I already had it. Okay, so for example, you might say um, $50,000. Let's just say, so in the morning, 
$50,000 three times. In the afternoon, at lunchtime, $50,000 six times. We're going to write down, I love having $50,000. I can't wait to have $50,000. It feels good to have $50,000, whatever. And then in the evening, nine times if you already have it. I appreciate so much that I have $50,000 to do what it is I want. I love that spirit, life, God, universe has blessed me with $50,000. I feel so connected to money now that I have these $50,000. The feeling of $50,000, you get the point. So I've heard some people talk about it in that way. Honestly, Manifestation 101, I would just invite you, keep it simple, and just every single time, morning, afternoon, or lunchtime, and evening, just write it down as if you've already got it. You know, whether you're at, whether you're praying, whether you're visualizing, whether you're writing down, just the act of writing down, some people call it scripting, is a manifestation tool in itself. Universe, God, spirit, the workings of this matrix of the universe doesn't know anything different than your vibration and your energetic signature. So when you say, I already have this, everything, the subatom on a subatomic level, the pathway of the reality you're currently in on some level, you become into a vibrational alignment of that thing that already is out there that's trying to make its way towards you. So just write it down every single time as if you already have it. Keep it simple. Second thing, some people won't say this, some people won't talk about this, but don't just write it. Allow yourself to feel it. Within our soul, within this game, within this journey we find ourselves on, we have a masculine part and a feminine part of our soul. The masculine part wants to understand, we remember. The feminine part wants to feel and experience. You can just rely on your feminine energy. You can just go in the flow. You can just feel. You can just surrender. You can rely on your masculine. Take action, understand, ascribe, be in control, whatever. My invitation is always, no matter what your disposition is, Having the structure, having the masculine, having the understanding, as well as having the feeling, the surrender, the flow, the two combined are always going to be more powerful. Each one unlocks each other. When you're writing down what it is you want, as if you already have it, take a moment and allow yourself to feel it. Abraham Hicks is now famous for the whole 17 seconds and then you start bringing what it is you want into your reality. Again, another ascribed meaning that many people have latched onto, whether that was true or not. Who knows? Who cares? But be present, allow yourself to feel it. Let's just say for at least 17 seconds, be present with that feeling. Whatever you write down, let's just say the $50,000. So you write down, it feels so good to have $50,000. I, I love the feeling of peace in my body with $50,000. I love the fact that I get to go on that cruise. I want to go now. I have this $50,000. And each time, just allow yourself to feel it. Imagine that $50,000 coming towards you. Imagine how it feels in your body to have $50,000. Imagine yourself going on that cruise just for a moment. Allow yourself to feel those feelings. Breathe into your body. And in that moment, you are in alignment, vibrational alignment with what it is you want. And everything around you is starting to move. Or should I say, this depends on your version of reality. I believe in power realities. Every part of your beingness is aligning with the reality where that experience is easiest to show up in your reality. So that's the 369 method. Like I said, three times in the morning, six times in midday, nine times at night. Write it down as if you already have it. Allow yourself to feel it. And also, if, you know, depending on how your day is, maybe you struggle with that, you know, you could change it. You could write down three times at night, all at nighttime or all in the morning, three times you know, this is what I want. Six times, I feel so excited to have it. Nine times, as if you already have it. Whatever. The important thing is you utilize, you jump on the bandwagon of this ascribed methodology of manifestation that so many people are getting great results from. If you can buy into and it's something you can believe in, that's half the battle. If you can understand it, that makes it even more powerful. Like I said, Watch the video below by Randall Carlson. I could talk about that my stuff myself, but he breaks it down so powerfully, giving credit. He's been studying this stuff for years and it's a really, really powerful video that I believe if you watch it, again, it'll give you that even more of, oh, this is something which is true. And like I said, that is half of the battle. That starts to shift your vibrations, shift your energy. I truly believe 
every single person on this planet can have everything that it is you want. Everything that it is you desire. Your soul, higher self, God, angels, universe, higher realms, whatever you believe in. I believe, my own experience, from clients' experience, what I've seen, those things are always trying to make their way towards you. And all you have to do, get in alignment, use methods like this, activate that discipline. And if you struggle with discipline, if you struggle even doing this method after like three days, you're like, I'm not able to do it. I'd really invite you. Do you really want it? And I'm not saying that from a masculine, duh, 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 you need to be, no, I mean, really check with yourself. The thing that you're saying you want, is that what you really want? Because my, my experience with my clients is when it's something you really want, when it's something you really pull a, feel a pull towards, yes, sabotage, fear, those things can come up, but I really would invite you, whatever it is you want, you should be thinking about it a lot. You should eat, sleep, breathe, you should wake up, you should be excited for it. You should be thinking about it all the time. And like I said, there might be fears, but if you're doing the 369 method, really check in with, are you wanting to manifest something because you think you need to manifest that to then have what it is you want? My invitation is go big, go home. Whatever it is you really want, just write that down and let go of the how. Get yourself in vibrational alignment and notice when you have ideas, inspirations, take action. Act on your highest excitement. Go for what it is you want and your life can change. And the 369 method can be part of that. It's a powerful technique. Any questions you have, comment below. Any other videos or anything you'd like me to break down and give you some extra understanding, please comment below. Would love to hear. Of course, like, subscribe, comment as well, even if it's just an emoji. Helps the algorithms, helps more people see this video. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.